everybody and welcome to possibly the hottest intro to an event vlog you will ever see. At the time of recording this, it's 39 degrees Celsius here in the UK, which is literally unheard of. But the show must go on. Atty's going eventing, and I should add, he's going eventing tomorrow when the heat is a fraction of this. It's going to be 25, 26 degrees, which is still hot, but we're going down the centre line at 8, 18 a.m. So it should actually only be about 19, 20 degrees, so way more manageable. I would not be running him in this heat. <laughs> but because we have such an early dressage time, I'm going to have to go and walk the course for Dauncey's today, which in the 39 degree heat is just gonna be so much fun, not. So I'm gonna take you along with me, probably be sweating lots, and we'll probably talk to you more later when I'm not such a sweaty mess, because tomorrow is hopefully going to be a lot more pleasant despite the 4 a.m. start. But I thought I would quickly jump on here and explain because the last time I saw you in terms of event vlogs was off church when we had a little bit of a nightmare and I was like, it's fine, we're going to Upton in 10 days time, it's fine. We didn't go to Upton, as you can probably tell from the title of this vlog. This is my Dauncey event vlog. So things have kind of just repeatedly gone wrong over the last couple of months. As you guys know, I'll go into it in more detail later, but BCA, Off Church, Upton. This is, this is like a plan D, we're now on plan D. Everything's just carnage, but I won't go into too much detail. If you're interested in knowing all the ins and outs of why I didn't run at Upton, I think I'm going to have made a vlog on it. If I have, I'll link it up here and you can go and give it a watch. If not, that's fine, but don't see us where we're headed now, which is scary. I usually avoid Dauncey's because it has a reputation for being big, bold, technical. So I, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't very nervous and very apprehensive. I'm, yeah, dreading it, but hopefully going to walk the course today is gonna to put my mind at ease, we will see. Anyway, I'll catch up with you either when we're there or later today. Right, we've made it to Dauncey's. I've dragged Dan along in this heat as well. How are you feeling? Amazing, how are you feeling? You're not feeling amazing, you're just moaning off camera. I feel very warm. Uh, I've given Dan the task of cross-country yapping, which I think he'll get to fence too, and then he will do something wrong like normal. <laughs> Let's go! They are not hanging around with questions. Fence three, big drop down at the top so that's interesting you know it's a wide fence and you actually can't reach the phone from the other side okay well you've got long arms <laughs> anyway <laughs> you broke it, it was you broke it i know that's a minute mark well done Luckily, this fence has shrunk as I've got up to it. From the other end of the field, it looks ginormous. Knew this day was coming one day, but I am not happy it's here. We've got a bounce, but they are numbered separately, so you can shout going long. But getting to them would be tough. I would say I'm hitting the point now where the questions are becoming too much. Yeah, I'm definitely, sorry, I haven't adjusted it, but I'm definitely getting a little bit nervous now. I mean, this is like, you've got to jump this down on an angle to actually get there, so. Dan's walking through the river, so. Things we do for accuracy. Yeah. Oh my God. The thing is about this is it's actually quite cool. It's not just a water jump, it's part of a river. Is it cold? Sorry? Is it cold? No! Oh, yeah. I'm coming, yeah. don't do that though. Oh. And straight out the other side to another combination. Back through the river. Right, good morning everybody. It is event day, but it is event day like no other. It's been a rather stressful morning. I'm gonna fill you in a little bit more. And I'm in the lorry, which I'm currently running to make. But yeah, one morning. We are still going venting, but there's been a little bit of change. You might be able to guess what it is. Right, hello everybody. It's been a little while since we last spoke. We are on the way to the event, but I do have a bit of an update and I'm gonna try and make it quick because I know that the noise in the lorry can be quite loud on my vlogs. I try to avoid doing too much chatting to you. So, walked the course yesterday, that would have been the last thing that you saw, and then 
you won't have seen anything else. I didn't have very much to say on the about the course. You guys probably picked up that I thought it was quite big, quite technical, quite difficult considering that we haven't run in a couple of months. And as well as that, the ground's pretty firm. That's not the organizers' fault. We haven't had any rain in two weeks. They've been out watering it, otherwise it would literally be concrete. But it's still on the firmer side. So all of that combined was stressing me out. I thought it was quite a big question. And it was playing on my mind. About half nine yesterday, I decided I would much rather have a confidence giving run in the B100, if at all possible. The B100 here is also tough, so I would equate it really closer to a 105, and therefore still very, very confidence giving. So emailed the organizers and understandably did not hear that back last night because they're not checking the emails at half nine. So this morning has been crazy, like, are we running today? Are we not running today? I literally, we haven't known. Found out at about quarter past nine that we had the all clear to go and do a dressage test at 12.45 in the B100 and go from there. It's a two hour drive to Dawnsey's from us. We also had to pack, we're gonna get ready, we're gonna do studs. So it has been the most manic morning, hence no vlog footage, but we're on the way. We're on the way. I'm learning the dressage test as we go. We're gonna have to go and do another course walk, but that's it, you know, we're keeping it real here. And it was way more important today to, to feel comfortable and safe going into the cross country than to push ourselves. There's a time and a place, but having not had a great run in a while, this felt like the best thing to do. There's good nerves and then there's bad nerves. And I think I was right on the edge. So that's where we are. Come along with us. It may be quite a manic dressage test. We may not have that much time, but actually I think we're gonna be fine. I think we're gonna be fine. And I'll show you the new course and I'll tell you my thoughts, but yeah. That's where we're at, we're in the lorry, ready to go. Sorry I haven't vlogged this morning, I literally haven't known if we were eventing. And here we are. Right, so we've just arrived and someone's looking rather sorry for himself because he's in trouble. Because he's broken the door. Wait for it. Mum is going to kill me, and you. Mostly you, it's not my fault. Right, this is one of my little last minute, do my boots, do my socks and chat to you, but everything that could possibly be going wrong, lucky socks, seems to be going wrong. One of Ashley's studs literally will not like go in one of his front ones, luckily, so I've put backs in, but because everything's obviously been quite manic with the class change, we haven't got loads and loads of time, so I'm gonna have to just go and do dresses with back studs, which isn't the end of the world, but also, you know, not necessarily like the best thing, and then see, um, Obviously Ashley broke the door, you saw that. Mum's very happy about that, as you can imagine. Uh, yeah, a bit of stress. Haven't even like really had time to keep kind of going through this dressage test that I obviously learned like an hour ago in my head because my head's been so preoccupied with this is going wrong, that's going wrong, but we're here and we want to have a good time, so it's got to be positive. Before the test starts, I just thought I'd hop on here really quickly to let you know that the full test is not included because unfortunately the little walkway where mum was filming 
turned into Piccadilly Circus during my test. So there's bits of it, it's a bit fragmented, but overall I massively agree with the judges' comments that the canter work was really good, the trot work was all right. I personally was not a fan of it, the judge thought it was all right. And we both agreed that my walk work needed some improvements, so bear that in mind, I guess. What do you think? I mean, on the one hand, an hour ago we didn't lay that test, did we? So the fact that we did it is one thing, but there should have been an easy test and I didn't feel easy. It felt very laboured and I feel like his his head wasn't quite in it, maybe mine wasn't. I mean, we hadn't practised it, it's hard when you haven't practised it, but he didn't feel as secure in the contact as he's felt at like quite a few of the recent events. So that's a shame, but there's nothing you can really do about it. That's he's not bothered, oh, he's on to the next He didn't even itch his leg at the end. Did you notice that? I did. You didn't do it for Leggett? It's because I think it's because he had one when he said no to the judge at the beginning. Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh. Thank you very much. So we're ready for course walk round two. We're hoping that this time the fences are a bit smaller and both Mum and I have our trainers on to walk back through the river again. One point one. I knew cross country course all walked a lot more comfortable with it than the novice and we're about to go show jumping so stay tuned to find out how it goes <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen that? She's happy for now True His horse is ready for action uh, He doesn't look that ready does he? Not at all He's having a little snooze
9657 Lush Nelson and Emma Edwards. Lucky? Yeah, they're really pleased with it. I thought we might not have got away with it, but it's fine. Obviously, they've got a chance to fight quite heavily, but really pleased with it. You felt good. Yeah, you look good, yeah. You felt really like. Yeah, it's really nice. 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 Feeling pre cross country? Weirdly, not too bad. I think because I've walked the. I probably look bad though. Probably because I've walked the novice and then walked the hundred, so I don't feel too bad. But I know that I'm going to be annoyed at myself if I don't get the time, and the time is a bit of a short in the dark, so we'll see. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. <laughs> you stood still again. That's twice in a day. What is going on, Atty? You never stand still. Getting ready to start the XC. Jockey was too slow. But you were too pushy. Sick, we take it. We're back, the ponies are back out in the field, and I feel like you could definitely be forgiven for thinking that I was filming this outro in a different season, let alone the same day. But I promise it is still event day. The weather just turned as soon as we got back, and it's been raining non stop. But I'd rather that than when we're out cross country, and at the end of the day, I can't complain because we really need the rain. So let's have a little chat. I've kept you quite up to date as we've gone along, so I won't sort of waffle on for too long, but let's round this bad boy up. I'm gonna move because I'm getting wet in the rain. Yeah, let's talk. So dressage, I gave you like, I'd say a fair insight into how I felt. I didn't feel like it was the best test. The judge clearly disagreed. I'm not sure if I said on the vlog what I got. 32.8, which is actually a good score in itself. And then when you take into consideration that the arena was really harshly judged, there was only one sub 30 in the entire section. We actually had the joint fourth best dress score of the day. I mean, what? <laughs> For us, that's exactly like, that's where we want to be and more, or like really, really chuffed with that. So that was a good start. 
And it, hopefully it's just that our dress are just paying off. We have been working hard on it and it is also an easier test. The show jumping, I thought he jumped really nicely. Obviously we had a little bit of a, I wouldn't say hairy moment, but it almost came undone in the first double at five, which everyone was struggling with. It was such a short double and two uprights. So very, very clever, of course, designers. Yeah, touch both. Like, I think mum said one of them actually might have bounced out of their cups, but I'm not sure if she's just been dramatic. So was very lucky to get away with that. He jumped nicely. That course caused a lot of issues. Less than, I think it was less than half of the people in my class went clear. It was around half, so can't complain at that. And then cross country, he was amazing. I'm so, so glad because obviously this has been such a manic sort of 24, 48 hours. It's just been crazy. I'm so glad I made the decision to step down a level really really feel it was the right thing and actually as he came out so keen what i love about him is he's usually snaffle mouthed and totally relaxed but he was keen as you like because he's obviously not had a run since may and i think if i had been going out novice with him like that i would have been quite worried that he wasn't listening quite enough for the combinations in the end that proved quite costly because where he just took that little bit longer to set up we ended up getting 3.2 time penalties which pushed us wait for it from second second i could have been like posing with a little medal and a little trophy and some prize money that never happens to six so we finished six so i really can't complain that's not bad that's my best placing this season yeah, hopefully this is it. It was nice to have a good chill day. Get my foot back on the ladder. We're in July now. She's actually had a run. And hopefully we are all set for some novices and two stars down the line. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that I finally got a proper event vlog out. And I'll see you very soon. There's going to be a double, a double boy show jump vlog coming up. And I may have just signed star up for British eventing. So I have to stay tuned for that. Anyway, be sure to give us video a big thumbs up leave a comment below and i'll see you very soon bye